Welcome everyone, here is how you take a screenshot in the iPhone 14 Pro. I will cover multiple methods, one way where you tap the back of the iPhone, so make sure you watch the full thing. The first method, this will be used by most people, is you're going to click and release both the power button and the volume up key together. Okay, so don't long press these two buttons, otherwise it will bring the power off menu. If you hold them for too long, emergency SOS will call. All you do is get your left thumb on the volume up, your right thumb on the power key, and just click and release both thumbs on both volume up and power at the same time. So let's do this together. Three, two, one, click release. And as long as you added enough force on both buttons, you're going to see the screenshot was taken successfully. When the screenshot is taken, you do get a preview to quickly save the screenshot. You swipe that to the left, or you can tap on the screenshot itself and it will give you editing options. Now, the second way is with tapping the back of the iPhone. To do this, you're going to open up the settings app. You're then going to find the home page of settings. From here, you're going to scroll all the way down until you see accessibility. You then want to scroll until you see where it says touch. Now you're going to scroll to the bottom and you should see this option back tap. Double or triple tap the back of your iPhone to perform actions quickly. Tap on this one and now you can select double tap or triple tap. I recommend you use double tap. From here, we're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to see screenshot. Tap on this to enable. Now, when you double tap the back of your iPhone, you can see a screenshot will be taken. When you do this, you just want to tap in the Apple logo area. You can tap slightly above, etc. But for best results, double tap the Apple logo. It's not perfect. You can see right now it hasn't been working. But uh, it does work for the most part. There you go. You can see my fingers were not on the buttons and I've taken a screenshot. If you ever want to turn off the back tap feature in the future, go back to the back tap settings. Select the one you used, either double tap or triple tap. And then select this to none. And now when you double tap, you can see it's not going to do anything. With that being said, Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.